Look. A blind man and a group of lame dogs. This is the evaluation of Lin Chaozi by all those who have seen it ten years ago. And ten years later, Lin Chaozi, do you want to be my enemy? Tang San, holding the trident of the sea god, shouted coldly. The young man across from him raised his brush. No. Tang San, you are the enemy of this world. It's the gods who want to be enemies with this world. The brush fell down. For large characters shine brightly. Twilight of the gods. Keywords of the novel. All heavens. Starting from Dolua with ink without pop-ups, all heavens. Starting from Dolua with ink. TXT complete collection download, all heavens. Starting from Dolua with ink. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. The Little Blind and the Limp Dog You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1. The Little Blind and the Limp Dog Martial Soul. Blue Silver Grass. Innate Soul Power. Level 1. In Holy Soul Village. On the Open Ground. Su Yuntao regretfully said these two words. Looking at the aggrieved little girl in front of him, who seemed to be about to cry, he pondered and couldn't come up with any good solution. He could only wave his hand and command, next. Martial soul, this kind of thing three parts rely on heaven, three parts rely on fate. And the remaining 4%, 3% rely on parents, and 1% rely on ancestors. If God favors, even inferior martial souls can mutate. If one's destiny is straightforward, they will not be able to find heavenly and earthly treasures to improve their martial soul. If the martial souls of both parents are strong, regardless of which side's talent the child inherits, the upper limit is hard to say, but the lower limit is still guaranteed. If the martial souls of our ancestors are strong, there is also a certain probability that they will be inherited from another generation. Although this probability is very small, it is better than having no hope at all. But when Su Yuntao saw the dilapidated Holy Soul Village in front of him I still couldn't resist shaking my head in my heart. This dilapidated small village doesn't seem to have any roots at all. Even if the legend in this village is true, a soul saint walked out of this dilapidated village, but this soul saint didn't leave any blood, and everything was just empty talk. Whenever there is a beast spirit, any child who possesses a beast martial soul has an innate soul power of level 3 or higher. Thinking of this, Su Yuntao suddenly burst into laughter. Shaking his head slightly, he immediately threw this fanciful idea out of his mind. Subsequently, Su Yuntao turned his gaze to the child in front of him, who looked different from the other children at a glance, and felt even more pleasing to the eye. The other little boys are all dirty. The little boy in front of him is very clean. It's not that he hates these naughty kids, after all, he was always like this when he was a child, going up and down the mountains and having fun. Just to say, being able to see a relatively cultured child in this dilapidated small village will inevitably create some favorable feelings. However, this does not hinder his work. As Su Yun Tao infused his soul power into the awakening formation, he casually asked the seemingly clean child, what's his name? Tang San. Tang San, with black hair, immaturity, and dressed in cloth, answered earnestly. Come on, Tang San, stand here. Su Yun Tao muttered to himself and then activated the awakening formation. As the material evaporated, an inexplicable wave quietly spread out. Following his feelings, Tang San raised his hand and was surprised to see a small blue grass emerge from his palm. Martial Soul Blue Silver Grass Another useless martial soul. Suyin Tao was unable to support her forehead. I'm too lazy to test Tang San's soul power. Waving his hand, he continued to command, next. Master Soul, this is the last one. Old Jack approached with a shy face and said. Tang San quickly argued, Master Soul, you haven't tested my innate soul power yet. Is it necessary? 
Su Yun Tao lifted his eyelids, intending to use the words in his heart to fight back directly, but when he saw Tang San's clear and clean eyes, his heartstrings were slightly brushed. Recalling my past self recalling the ups and downs along the way recalling my dreams all along, okay. I'll give you a test now. Su Yuntao's tone was filled with helplessness. The concept circulating on the mainland is that soul masters are all human beings. No one doesn't want to become a soul master. Perhaps some children still have their own dreams. But when they reach adulthood, they will understand everything. But when Tang San placed his hand on the crystal ball, the extremely dazzling light still surprised Su Yuntao, who was already careless. Innate full soul power. Su Yuntao hurriedly retrieved the crystal ball, looked at it in front of him, and then injected his soul power to try it out. Then, with a strange expression, he looked at the strange child and sighed. If only it could be exchanged. The child who just awakened the wooden stick, if he could have this innate full soul power, in the future, at least he would also be starting a soul sect. Unfortunately, a useless waste martial soul was laid out. Speaking of which, Su Yuntao felt a bit sour in his mouth and secretly imagined in his heart what his current status would be if he had this innate soul power back then. He shook his head bitterly. I dare not think. The picture is too beautiful to imagine. However, while shaking his head, Su Yuntao caught a glimpse of a lonely child not far away, as well as six small dogs surrounding him. His gaze immediately froze. Looking back at old Jack with a smile on his face, he no longer had the previous helplessness, but with a hint of obvious dissatisfaction, he scolded. Isn't this the last one? Is the child with six small dogs in the distance non-existent, or do you really think that my gaze is not good enough to see from too far away? Or do you think I have too much forgetfulness? Just by awakening the martial souls of these dozens of children in front of me, I can forget who has awakened and who has not. Su Yuntao's sudden anger made old Jack's smile stiffen on his face. He rubbed his presbyopia and looked around, his anxious heart immediately became certain. After an awkward smile, old Jack quickly explained humbly. Please remind Lord Soul Master that that child is not even from our Holy Soul Village. He was an orphan from outside and settled in our Holy Soul Village, relying on the help of his neighbors to survive. Moreover, this child is still blind. Those few little dogs were also caught by this child from somewhere unknown, and this child doesn't usually care. These dogs just follow this child to grab a bite to eat and guide him on the way, after all, this child is blind. However, these little dogs are very fierce. In recent years, many children have been scared and bitten. So, in order to prevent the children in the village from being bitten by these small dogs, a few bitten children and their adults gathered together and crippled the hind legs of these dogs. In this way, it not only prevented the group of little dogs from continuing to bite the children, but also prevented this poor child from completely losing direction. Leading the way. Hurry up or slow down, it's okay. Upon hearing old Jack's words, Su Yuntao couldn't help but remain silent for a while, then turn his head again and focus his gaze on the child holding a white little dog. A hint of pity and helplessness surged in his heart. It's just that. Just consider me paying out of my own pocket. Can't we save all the civilians, can't we still save a child? Give me hope, at least it's better than now. Su Yuntao silently sighed in his heart. Then, raising his hand, he shouted loudly. How old is the child holding the dog over there? If you're six years old or over, come here to awaken your martial soul and test your soul power. The child holding the puppy turned its head fiercely. A pair of white pupils reflected in Su Yuntao's eyes. Su Yuntao pursed her lips, which suddenly felt a bit dry. Then he shouted loudly, Can you hear me? Can can. Can hear. The child answered excitedly. Then, he patted the little dog in his arms. Sending stars, please help me and everyone. Squatting down and opening his arms, the white little dog limped out of the child's embrace, 
with a slightly painful sob, and the other six companions limped and led the child toward Su Yuntao. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Defining all forces you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Defining all forces, don't be afraid, child, it will get better soon. Follow uncle, stand here and don't move. Su Yuntao spoke and reached out his hand, pulling the pale-eyed child in front of him into the awakening formation, and then began the awakening ceremony. What's your name? Lin Chaozi. How old is it this year? Six years old. Su Yuntao asked without a trace. When he first took over this job, he was not yet familiar with it. Many children have been scared and cried by him. So, over time, he also learned this simple way to relieve children's tense emotions through chatting. I cannot guarantee absolute effectiveness. But it's better than a group of children being scared and crying. And around the awakening formation, the seven little dogs that had originally stayed here have been driven by old Jack with a cane to the roots of a nearby tree, far away from Tang San and the other children. Seeing this, Su Yuntao couldn't help but glance in surprise at the group of dogs with messy fur colors. I was surprised for a moment, but I didn't pay much attention. A little dog that can be so obedient is truly rare. Dogs that have been beaten away with crutches can still threaten without showing their teeth, especially those with injuries, which is even rarer. However, these are not important in Su Yuntao's eyes. As the scattered starlight surged, the ore used as a medium for awakening quickly dried up, and a thin layer of powder had already appeared on the surface. Su Yuntao keenly sensed this. Suddenly, a smile rose on my face. Although the props used to awaken martial souls are the same all over the world, since they are props, there will be issues of wear and tear and consumption. A powerful martial soul will consume more soul power to awaken. A weak martial soul anyway, it also requires soul power to awaken. It's just different in terms of quantity. It looks like you should be able to awaken a good martial soul. In this way, the additional cost of awakening martial souls should be able to go to the public account, right? I just don't know if this child's talent can meet the standards of the genius clause. If it can be met, I not only have no faults this time, but also have made contributions. Su Yuntao looked eagerly at Lin Chaozi. In the hopeful gaze of Su Yuntao, Lin Chaozi finally followed his own feelings and raised his right hand a plain brush. Wooden pole, white hair. Clean and extremely simple. Su Yuntao scratched his head inexplicably, but he used to be a regular disciple of the Martial Soul Hall and knew that martial souls should not only be seen for their appearance, but should be viewed together with the innate soul power of the Soul Master. So Su Yuntao grabbed the crystal ball that had just been tested for Tang San's innate soul power with his backhand and placed it directly on Lin Chaozi's left hand. Child, hold it steady. Carefully feel the power inside you. Finally, direct that force onto your left hand. Su Yuntao patiently advised. A crystal ball, he can afford to pay for it. But no one wants to share the blame for a child's mistake especially the deacon of the martial soul hall. It's impossible to argue with an orphan who eats from a hundred families. As for how Su Yuntao knew that the crystal ball would be broken by a child's mistake. It has to be mentioned that Su Yuntao had a tragic past when his salary was halved for a period of time when he was young. Fortunately, Lin Chaozi's mentality is quite stable. The little hand holding the crystal ball didn't shake at all. But Su Yuntao's mentality is about to explode. Raise your hand, but then put it down again. Your fingers and arms are fine, except for your wrist, which shakes like a Parkinson's syndrome patient. First level. Innate soul power level 1. How could this be level 1? How could this be level 1? Su Yuntao grabbed his hair and stared at the crystal ball in disbelief, muttering to himself several times like a madman before finally letting go of his hair-pulling hand. Taking a deep breath, Su Yuntao retrieved the crystal ball from Lin Chaozi's hand and infused his soul power. After looking at it, 
he finally gave up and waved his hand with a gloomy expression, saying to old Jack. If there are no other children, then I'll leave first. Hold on, there's no need to give it away. Speaking, Su Yuntao had already tidied up the scene on his own. But Lin Chaozi, who was blind in both eyes, did not leave. Even though old Jack is trying to push him away with his cane. He stood still, even though he couldn't see anything due to congenital blindness, the information that came with awakening his martial soul still made him decide to take a fight. This soul master from the martial soul hall, if I want to go to the soul master academy, is there any way I can achieve this with my innate soul power? If there is, I hope you don't hesitate to teach me. If not, let me disturb you. Would you be willing to tell me something? Lin Chaozi bowed seriously to the front. Su Yun Tao did not blame Lin Chaozi for the extra loss this time, although he was still a bit angry, he still had basic qualities to cultivate. So Su Yun Tao thought for a moment and, on the basis of not violating the regulations jointly agreed upon by the Martial Soul Hall and the two empires, actually came up with several feasible solutions. There are three methods. One way is to donate money. For example, if your family is particularly wealthy and your elders have no expectations for your future career as a soul master, and do not require you to reach any level, then you can donate money to help you enter any soul master academy. It's not easy to say about the two imperial colleges and our martial soul palace colleges. The regulations are placed there, and most people dare not help you operate them, but those private colleges are still very easy to talk about. Another way is for someone to appreciate you. However, this person's status in the college is at least someone who can speak up, not even the dean, at least at the level of vice dean, because ordinary teachers do not have this right. Only big shots like this can break the rules of opening a college for you and make an exception to admit you. This is also a popular saying in the soul master world called the De Genius Clause, which is a special treatment specifically designed for some geniuses. The last option is allocation and borrowing. Because of the agreement between the Martial Soul Hall and the two empires, the term working dot class students emerged. However, the Martial Soul Hall and the two empires are not engaged in charity. Generally speaking, small villages like your Holy Soul Village should share a working dot class student quota with several other small villages. I don't know how your village and several other villages arrange this quota but the quota for working students can only be issued once a year. If you have any connections, you can credit this quota for now. Leave it for anyone, it's up to you. As for borrowing quotas, the success rate is actually very low. I can't even get a spot shared by my own village and several other villages. Borrowing a spot from a few unfamiliar villages that share the same spot is basically hopeless. Speak while walking. Unconsciously, Su Yun Tao had already taken Lin Chaozi and Old Jack to the village entrance. Su Yun Tao raised his head and glanced at the distant sunset. Thinking back on this harvest, he sighed with regret. All right, I'm leaving. Child, even if uncle gives you a warning. Sometimes, being an ordinary person is also very happy. Su Yun Tao waved his hand and walked into the afterglow of the sunset. Old Jack also waved his hand, then put down his arm and looked at the invisible little guy next to him. Although he felt pity, he still forced his heart to remind him. Go borrow it. If you really want to go to Soul Master Academy. Then, Old Jack turned around and left. But Lin Chaozi still stood in place. The golden sunlight shone on his face, illuminating the faint purple and blue on his face, as well as many scabbed or hemostatic wounds. The road still needs to be taken. Tomorrow, it will still come. Swallowing the sun, month by month, punishing the stars. Cracking the ground, covering the water, plundering fire, catching the wind. Believe me, it's not too late for a gentleman to seek revenge in ten years. At the very least, we have seen hope. And. Lin Chaozi slowly raised his hand. He held the ordinary brush in his hand. The power to modify everything. Or rather, 
It is a power that can write and define everything. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Advantages and Disadvantages You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Advantages and Disadvantages Text is the greatest power. All intelligent races have different scripts. Text determines the upper limit and lower limit of a smart race, and is also the dividing line between smart and non-smart races. Only words can describe everything. Only words can give birth to concepts. Without words, everything is meaningless. So, how should this power be used? Lying on the hard wooden bed, Lin Chaozi raised the pen in his hand and, in the midst of a few soul power flows, wrote in the air. Innate soul power level 20. Every stroke falls, shattering the previous one. When Lin Chaozi left the last stroke, he couldn't help but snort. The brush in his hand instantly landed on the hard wooden bed, then turned into a spot of light and disappeared. A warm sensation comes from the four orifices. Lin Chaozi raised his hands, first touching his nose with his left hand, then touching his eyes with his right hand. Finally, he placed his hands in front of his mouth and extended his tongue to lick. It's fishy and sweet, with a hint of rust, it's blood. Is it a backlash after failure? Or is it the price before success? Lin Chaozi muttered to himself, then casually wiped his nose and corners of his eyes and sat quietly on the hard wooden bed. After a moment, he let out a disappointed sigh. Soul power has not increased. It seems like a failure. Since that's the case, what if I were to rewrite my body? Can I succeed in restoring my vision? Lin Chaozi closed his eyes and pondered. A brush reappeared in his hand. Raise your hand and write heavily in the air. Restoring my vision. As a traveler, if there is anything he cannot accept the most, it is undoubtedly that he has become blind after the journey. As a blind person, especially a young blind person, in this small village where there is not much courtesy, one will naturally be ostracized by many children. Adults may not be able to speak up, but the good or bad of children largely depends on whether they find the matter interesting or not. As long as it's fun, they won't care about the opinions and senses of the injured, and such good and evil are pure to a frightening level. Because these children don't need a reason. Even without reason. Before crossing over, Lin Chaozi never imagined that one day he would be beaten up by a group of children, and even if he didn't want to provoke these children, he would be beaten up by them for being out of place. This way of doing evil based on emotions goes beyond the double standards that Lin Chaozi hates the most, and is completely unpredictable and uncontrollable. Therefore, he kept several dogs. At that time, I thought that even if these few little dogs couldn't become guide dogs, they could at least help him guard his house and, if necessary, scare those bear kids. As for fighting Lin Chaozi never considered such a matter. Let him fight with a group of children as a little blind person, make sure he's not having any brain problems. But no one expected that these bear kids thought the puppy's size was too small and lacked killing power, so they didn't take these few puppies seriously. Seeing him leading the dog, I dare to come up and find fault. The result is naturally predictable. However, the only difference from rumors is that he did not let the dog bite anyone. The chain is always in his hands. There is also a certain limit to the length. If a dog really bites a person, the strength of the person's struggle under the pain is enough for him to instantly notice, especially when there were seven chains in his hand at that time. Compared with the feel of the other chains, the result was naturally clear at a glance. But I can't resist someone talking too much. And, it's just a superficial conclusion. Startled by a group of small dogs, he ran around and bumped and bumped, which naturally left wounds. However, in Tang San's eyes, this became evidence of him letting the dog bite someone. Tang San was decisive and directly stabbed this matter to old Jack and several victim family members. The subsequent results are very simple. He did explain and also blocked it. But no one listened to his explanation as a little blind man. He is a little blind man who cannot stop anyone. 
several small dogs were all broken in their hind legs. Besides, the families of these victims didn't do much. When they left, they proudly said that it was because of his poor situation that they didn't give up and asked him to take care of the group of animals under his command the past is like smoke, and Lin Chaozi doesn't want to bring it up again. The nosebleeds that had just stopped gushed out again, along with the corners of the eyes and even the ears that were originally not bleeding, emitting varying degrees of warmth. Lin Chaozi touched and confirmed again. Then, putting down his hand, he pondered in his heart. It failed again. The failure to improve my innate soul power for the first time may be because I am also using soul power. The brush is more like an engine, changing one ton of oil with one gram of oil is normal. So, there may be two reasons for this second failure. One is that the cost is not enough, and the other is that it cannot affect myself. Her pale eyes were dull and rigid. Lin Chaozi's mind suddenly became active. Clap your hands and shout, swallow the sun. Not far away, a variegated golden-haired dog suddenly stumbled over and ran to the bed, sobbing twice. Then, it was carried onto the bed by Lin Chaozi and placed on his lap. Quiet, swallow the sun. Lin Chaozi gave a warning and summoned his martial soul brush again, using the soul power that he had not used twice before to write in midair. Repairing the broken hind leg of swallowing the sun. Soul power receded like a tide. The feeling of emptiness swept through Lin Chaozi's entire body. But Lin Chaozi was very excited. It has been proven that it is not his lack of soul power, but rather his inability to apply the words he wrote to himself. It is more like a rule that doctors cannot heal themselves. In Lin Chaozi's arms, swallowing the sun suddenly let out a painful sob, and couldn't help but open his bloody mouth, constantly struggling but never biting Lin Chaozi. At the same time, the bones also made a strange noise. But in just a moment, the strange noise disappeared. As if being pulled out of the water, the hair that swallowed the sun clung to the body, tentatively kicking the leg. Then, as if sensing something, it rolled and jumped from Lin Chaozi's knee to the ground. The other six little dogs immediately gathered around. For a moment, the barking of dogs kept coming and going. If you don't know, you might think that Lin Chaozi's family has been burglarized. All right, keep it down. Although there is only our family nearby, it's hard to guarantee that your loud cries won't disturb others. If these people think something's happening here, it will be troublesome at that time. I don't want to explain this power. Lin Chaozi angrily scolded a few words. The constant barking of dogs suddenly decreased significantly. It was not until then that Lin Chaozi had the intention to plan his own future. Firstly, I need to solve my vision problem. Secondly, I need to address the issue of enrollment. Don't treat others as fools. If I treat others as fools, then in the eyes of others, I am the biggest fool. So, this power must not be exposed. Otherwise, as a title dolua, Tang Hao would never let go of me, a small shrimp with an almost unimaginable growth limit. If exposed in front of Tang Hao, there are only two possible outcomes waiting for me. Being dragged onto a thief's boat, or being uprooted. After all, my martial soul has no flaws. As long as I think and have enough strength, I can even shape the Houtian hammer into a martial soul. It's just a matter of writing two more words. Therefore, the premise of everything is that I cannot expose it. Late at night. On the hard wooden bed board. Lin Chaozi, the interloper at the beginning of the landslide, silently thought to himself. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Imperial Earth Divine Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Imperial Earth Divine Power The method of perceiving the outside world without changing oneself is extremely rare in cases of binocular blindness. If it's just blindness, it's not much. Mental detection Shinla heart and eyes super intuitive the sixth sense, the seventh sense, the eighth sense motivation Lin Chaozi can easily list a bunch of words. But these are all based on changing oneself. 
Since the rule of doctors cannot self-medicate has been established, these methods have to be invalidated, and he can only choose from the methods that can be learned the day after tomorrow. Besides, his innate soul power is also an important issue. How could there be such a good thing in the world if you want the horse to run fast and want it to not eat grass? Even when driving, there must be oil in the fuel tank. In this way, two rules and one card, all I can think of at the moment is that, you to divine skill, dot. In the supernatural powers of descent, that famous Tuafu. I, like her, am blind in both eyes. She doesn't have any special bloodline either. Her talent is certainly outstanding, but I don't need to reach her later stage. Follow the strongest earth sect in history to learn the purest earth divine power. If I can't even achieve the most basic perception of the surrounding environment, then I'll just go to bed and wash myself up. Lying on the hard wooden bed, Lin Chaozi, who was spinning his brush, suddenly stopped his brush and then dropped it in mid-air. Infusing Tuafu's experience of practicing the Earth God technique directly into my mind. At first glance, the conditions were very demanding. Can't you just pick up a book and learn directly? Why be like a lazy waste, infusing a knowledge into your mind in such a simple yet contemptuous way? To be honest, Lin Chaozi doesn't want to be lazy either. The problem is he can't see. And he doesn't know Braille either. The two foreign language sentences he learned before crossing the river were basically eaten by him after graduation, so there's no need to instill in him. Should he have to guess letter by letter? What if I guess wrong? This line of words was actually written by Lin Chaozi. But just as Lin Chaozi finished writing, the brush in his hand turned into a spot of light, and a mouthful of blood surged from his heart and lungs to his throat. With just a, wow, sound, Lin Chaozi vomited a mouthful of blood. At the same time, a warm sensation familiar to Lin Chaozi appeared on both ears, two eyes, and two nostrils. I finally understand Lin Chaozi now. Seven orifices bleeding, this is really risking one's life. If you don't have enough soul power, you'll risk your life. Fortunately, doctors cannot self-medicate. Otherwise, the two outrageous demands I wrote earlier might have cost me a lot of life. Lin Chaozi slumped on the hard wooden bedboard and swore, saying that his whole body seemed to have been pulled out of bones, like a pool of mud. He could not lift half his strength. Fortunately, I can still extend my life. Trembling as he raised his hand, Lin Chaozi's lips were trembling weakly. Due to exhaustion of soul power, he could not even summon his own martial soul now. But a wild smile appeared on his face. It is difficult to find techniques that can help people activate perception, especially when it is not yet possible to physically engage oneself, but there are plenty of techniques that can prolong one's life in the world. Let's not talk about martial arts for now. Just talk about the immortal hero. Which immortal martial arts technique cannot sustain life? Which immortal died at the age of a few hundred? Daoyin breathing method swallowing heavenly demons skill immortal meridian summoning demons classic he transformed into the Dharma there are countless techniques that can make people live forever. Lin Chaozi can easily list a bunch of words. However, thinking about that now is a bit too far. At present, the innate soul power in his body does not support him to materialize these techniques, so it is still important for him to persist in his life cultivation. Nascent development, don't be reckless. Lin Chaozi silently murmured these words in his heart, then wiped the bloodstains on his face with his sleeve and lay on the bed, slowly closing his eyes. There was nothing to say overnight. The moon sets and the sun rises. Another new day. Lin Chaozi woke up early. Standing in the yard, I washed my face with cold water, then picked up an old towel that had shed hair on the side and wiped my face. I stretched lazily in front of the bright sun, let out a wild roar, and let out the negative emotions that had accumulated in my heart over the years. Finally, I calmly walked back to the dilapidated wooden house and tidied up my clothes. Lin Chaozi doesn't have many clothes. Clean, tidy, and dignified. These are the only things he can currently do. 
he is fortunate that the current season is not winter. If it's winter, traveling far away can be very dangerous. Lin Chaozi did not resent Su Yuntao for not helping him. If he was born with full soul power, Su Yuntao did not invite him on behalf of the Martial Soul Hall. He would indeed suspect whether Su Yuntao was an undercover agent of Haotian's sect in the Martial Soul Hall. But his innate soul power is only one level. The Martial Soul is not particularly outstanding either. Just an ordinary brush. It's a bit difficult for Su Yuntao to invite him on behalf of the Martial Soul Hall. Moreover, Su Yuntao probably doesn't have the authority to do things within the rules. What kind of demeanor can one person risk losing their position to open a backdoor for another? He is not a face-saving fruit person. After a clanging cleaning, the cabin finally calmed down, curling smoke rising, and bowls of steaming kanji were placed on the table. All these years, you've worked hard. Living such a miserable life with me that you can't eat meat. Sometimes, you may not be able to eat. Sitting on the only decent table in the room, Lin Chaozi sneered at his former eyes. Then, the conversation changed. The dejected expression swept away. However, I believe we will get better and better. Last night, I cured my leg that swallowed the sun. From now on, I will treat you one by one. Someone once said that dogs cannot understand human language. But I think you all understand better than anyone else in your hearts. You have been guiding me for four years, and although I still don't know what heights I can reach in the future, I promise to swear to heaven and earth that if there is anything I eat, there will be something you eat. I can eat meat and you can eat meat, I can drink soup and you can drink soup, and there will never be any favoritism towards one or the other. I will avenge those grudges for you. Those troublemakers who sow discord, I will definitely give you an explanation. Those ignorant adults, I will also help you out with this. In the past, it was my incompetence. In the future, I hope everyone can go and see it with their own eyes. Everything we say right now is empty, speak with facts. Now. Dinner. Picking up chopsticks and holding up a bowl, Lin Chaozi drank kanji. At the same time, seven puppies, who were on the same footing with Lin Chaozi, all lowered their heads and licked the kanji in their bowls. This kanji is extremely thick. This kanji is also very fragrant. Explain the character, Tuafu. Friends who are not familiar with it can go watch anime about the divine power of the descending world, or search for information on Don Yang. With one's own strength, the two generations of divine power kings have been hammered. Creating the technique of imperial gold from scratch. To be honest, it's quite impressive. However, it is limited to the world she is in. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Unexpected Visitors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Unexpected Visitors Time Flies, and the Sun and Moon Shuttle Like a Shuttle Unconsciously, Old Jack had already arrived in the city of Notting with Tang San. After experiencing some unpleasantness with the guards at the entrance of the Junior Soul Master Academy in Notting, Tang San followed the Master Yu Xiaojiang into the academy. After a conversation with Yu Xiaojiang, Tang San was impressed by the profound knowledge of the master in front of him and willingly became his disciple. However, Yu Xiaojiang is also dependent on others. He cannot help Tang San get rid of his status as a working dot class student. So, Tang San could only come to the dormitory specially built for working dot class students to report. According to rankings and labels, this dormitory is referred to as Seven Houses, which is the seventh dormitory among all dormitories. As soon as he entered the door, Tang San was forced to engage in a sparring. However, a group of inexperienced children in Tang San, who had mastered various Tang sect skills, had a one dot on point one battle, and the result was naturally beyond doubt. Fortunately, these children are also quite clever. Seeing that even the strongest Wang Sheng couldn't defeat Tang San, they didn't make any futile resistance and obediently bowed their heads and surrendered together with Wang Sheng. The handover of the position of the leader of Qisha is so simple and rough. 
but there are even simpler and more rough ones later on. Just as Tang Sangang had just secured his position and hadn't even arrived for two minutes, a girl in a pink dress with a long scorpion tail braid suddenly pushed open the door of Qisha. Due to being a girl, Wang Sheng and others dared not take action for a while. It's not that they deliberately isolated Tang San, it's just that they feel embarrassed to take action. In their concept, boys should protect girls. Even if they don't protect them, they can't start fighting right after meeting. But beginner Xiao Wu is not a good person. After briefly understanding the rules of the seven houses from Wang Xing's side, Xiao Wu turned her gaze to the unattractive Tang San in front of her, eagerly putting down her luggage, and then grinding her fists and feet to prepare for a big fight. Tang San doesn't want to fight Xiao Wu. He doesn't want to bully a little girl either. Even if the opponent is a little boy, his actions can be considered as bullying the small. Xian Tian Gong and various unique Tang sect skills have given him sufficient confidence. Even if he doesn't have hidden weapons at hand, he doesn't panic at all. Tang San's ideas are reasonable and well-founded. But he ignored the human heart. No diamond, no porcelain work. Since Xiao Wu dares to initiate a challenge, she must have two brushes. Unlike the proud Tang San, Xiao Wu was very cautious from the beginning. During the attack, the attack was like a storm. In just an instant, Tang San was knocked unconscious. At this point, Tang San also reacted, but his previous attacks from Tuada and Xiao Wu had made him lose his ability to counterattack. They are all innate, full of soul power. The level is also similar. One side takes the lead, while the other wants to launch a counterattack, it depends on whether the one in the lead gives this opportunity. If the first party fails to give the opportunity, the other party can only be suppressed until the end of the battle. Even Tang San is helpless in the face of this situation. Xiao Wu did not give Tang San a chance. Tang San ultimately suffered a decisive defeat. Xiao Wu kicked a rabbit to kick an eagle and landed on the ground. After struggling to get up, Tang San felt very uncomfortable in his heart. However, the pride of being a disciple of the Tang clan, as well as the nearly 30 years of life experience before and after the crossing, quickly suppressed this discomfort. Even if it's just for her once. Moreover, it was indeed my carelessness. Tang San silently comforted in his heart. Subsequently, he casually stood in line with Wang Sheng, who had been defeated earlier, right at the entrance. Xiao Wu proudly walked past the team. Wang Sheng and all the children lowered their heads. Under a startled glance, Wang Sheng saw that Tang San had not yet lowered his head and quickly raised his hand, wanting to press Tang San down as a sign of respect for old seven houses and big and small dancers. But before Wang Sheng could raise his hand and press Tang San's head down to show respect for Xiao Wu, the leader of the Seven Houses, another late knocking suddenly sounded at the door. Enter. Wang Sheng was stunned and shouted loudly. The children, who had originally lined up to show respect to Xiao Wu, instantly returned to their loose and scattered appearance, all turning their gaze to the door that had not yet been pushed open. Who exactly is the leader of Qisha? The dust is currently uncertain. So, this one with a low head is still a bit hasty. Tang San also looked curiously at the door. The quota for work students is scarce, and generally speaking, it is for rural children with low talents to come here for education. However, with Xiao Wu as the leading gem, Tang San Yi dare not underestimate the heroes of the world. Xiao Wu is no exception. Pink eyes stared motionless at the door. Accompanied by an unpleasant, creaking sound, the door that was clearly lacking oil in the parts was pushed open, and a small palm first entered everyone's sight, followed by the owner of this palm. A boy with tattered clothes, scars on his face, and muddy and pure white eyes. The boy doesn't look big. Probably the same age as Tang San Xiaowu. He is much younger than Wang Sheng and other children. But those turbid and pure white eyes are particularly eye-dot-catching. Excuse me, is this the seventh house? The boy asked lightly. 
Tang Sanyi has not yet recognized Lin Chaozi. But looking at the seven colorful dog heads suddenly popping up under Lin Chaozi's body, he still instantly recognized Lin Chaozi and couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. Little blind man. Why did you come? Surprisingly, you still bring your dog with you. Upon hearing these words, where does Wang Xing still not understand? He poked Tang San's arm and said, Do you know him? Understanding. Tang San nodded and said, We are from the same village. But Lin Chaozi seemed to have missed Tang San's questioning. He took a step forward and sensed the inside and outside of the dormitory based on the ripples generated by his actions. Then he walked in on his own. I didn't pay attention to Tang San. I didn't pay attention to anyone in this dormitory either. Just suddenly turning back and saying to his back. Let's all come in. This is our future home. For a considerable period of time, yes. Seven small dogs with mottled fur suddenly ran happily in from the door, some following behind Lin Chaozi, and a few running ahead, heading straight for the sunny bed. Can this be tolerated? Xiao Wu jumped out in anger. The pink and smooth little face is puffy with anger. Pointing at Lin Chaozi's nose, he shouted loudly. Do you know the rules in this dormitory? Even if you choose to give up, you have to speak up. Wang Sheng, isn't this the rule you mentioned before? Repeat it for him again. Wang Sheng stood up with a bitter smile. Before he could explain the rules of the seven houses, he saw the boy who had just walked in and threw the old small package directly onto the bed. Subsequently, he ignored him and instead asked a perplexing question to Xiao Wu, the leader of the seven houses. You've lived for so many years, and the more you live, the more you go back. Lin Chaozi looked at Xiao Wu in confusion. Xiao Wu knew that the other party couldn't see her. But she still felt a wave of palpitations. But what fills her more heart is still ahead. You tell me the rules, that's the biggest joke. If you really take this rule seriously. Please allow me to question your intelligence, thank you. Lin Chaozi said politely. Then, ignoring the petrified little dance, she pulled off the blanket from the bed, casually spread it out, and hung it on the sunny bed to dry. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Unusual Lin Dynasty CI You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Unusual Lin Dynasty CI How to Speak Tang San frowned and stood up. Glancing at Xiao Wu with an ugly expression, she felt a bit unhappy for a moment. He originally thought that the girl's skills were good and her nature was also good. He never expected that the other party would be frightened by a little blind man with innate soul power, which was truly embarrassing. Especially when he was just defeated by the opponent. Even if he was careless, he did lose. In this way, if we compare the three of them together, the little blind man who used to like to let dogs bite people actually puts pressure on his head, as if he is not as good as this little blind man. How can Tang San, who is proud and proud, accept this result? Moreover, people's prejudices are difficult to change. Therefore, Tang San ignored Xiao Wu and turned his head to look at Lin Chaozi. Five years in the same village. He doesn't know the other person's name yet. Almost everyone uses the term, little blind man, to refer to each other. He also naturally remembered this title. Therefore, for a while, he didn't know how to address the other person better. Speaking of the name, he doesn't know. If you don't say your name, the other person won't pay attention to him. This can be seen from the attitude exhibited by this little blind man when he entered the door. He is fearless and can also be called a dead pig not afraid of boiling water. So, Tang San also got stuck. But after getting stuck for a second, he came up with a solution. Can't we introduce ourselves? In the next few years, we will all be classmates living in the same dormitory. Getting to know each other can also avoid any misunderstandings. Tang San explained lightly. Unexpectedly, Lin Chaozi didn't even glance at him. Instead, he continued to say to Xiao Wu. 
go back where you came from. If you don't roll today, you don't have to roll tomorrow, including the days ahead. Heaven has the virtue of good life, but I don't have much. Heaven will not shelter a fool, nor will I. The water in this world is far deeper than you imagine. If you are not afraid of death, you can try to make me shut up forever, provided that you are mentally prepared for failure and accept my cruel punishment. Xiaowu is a hundred thousand year soul beast transformation. But it doesn't mean that Xiaowu lived for one hundred thousand years. One hundred thousand years refers to cultivation, just like the hierarchical division between the title Dolua and the soul Dolua, where ambition is not in high age, the title Dolua at the age of thirty can be on par with the title Dolua at the age of three hundred. Soul beasts of ten years or less are instinctively controlled. A century-old soul beast will explore unique combat methods. A thousand-year-old soul beast has a certain level of wisdom, which can summarize experience from battles and supplement it with its seemingly perfect combat style. A soul beast that lasts for thousands of years, with wisdom comparable to that of normal humans. A soul beast that lasts for 100,000 years can transform into form and speak human language. So, Lin Chaozi is not worried that Xiaowu won't understand the meaning in the words. If Xiaowu doesn't understand, it must be pretending not to understand. As for Tang San who would distinguish right from wrong with a dog. Even if you bark at each other twice, you can indirectly feel your own foolishness. Unless you don't treat dogs like dogs. Just like him, he treated these little dogs like his own eyes. Even if his eyes were not working properly or he found stronger eyes and replaced them, the initial eyes were always his eyes, a part of his body. Treating one's own body he believes that no one dares to show any contempt. Besides he and Tang San still have a grudge against each other for being falsely accused. If it weren't for Tang San's false accusation of not knowing the truth, those children would hide the scars that were originally caused by bumps and dents for the sake of their own face. Even if they were discovered by their parents, they could easily find an excuse to fight and deceive them. Fighting with people and being bitten by dogs are two different concepts. Moreover, after being scared once, those children dare not provoke him again. The scabbard of a long sword may be chilling, but holding it still can be awe-inspiring. But Tang San's accusation has escalated the matter. Cutting off one's future is like killing one's parents. What about him? Abandon these few pairs of hard-won moves. Even if it's a stray puppy, it's still his reliance. All seven little dogs were abandoned. Xian Xing suffered the heaviest injuries. It's been four years and I can't even walk on the ground. A comminuted fracture, coupled with four years of growth, resulted in one out of seven puppies, and the broken hind legs were completely deformed and developed. Being able to exert force is a miracle. Guide blindness. What the hell is this? So, if Lin Chaozi hates anyone the most during his six dot year career, it must be Tang San, followed by those stubborn adults, and finally those ignorant children. Seeing the light, but being pushed into the abyss by someone. What's worse is just one step, even half a step. Such deep hatred and hatred, if it weren't for Tang Hao, the title Dolua, being suppressed there, and if it weren't for knowing that he couldn't defeat Tang San at the moment, Lin Chaozi would have already cut Tang San's thousand swords and shattered his bones and ashes. As for why Lin Chaozi came to study at Notting Junior Soul Master Academy how can he cultivate without studying? Where can he go without studying? Tang San has Xian Tian Gong at least. And his manifestation of martial arts requires soul power. His current maximum soul power is level 1. It is necessary to expand the maximum soul power. Moreover, the brush currently only accommodates soul power. Soul power can be regarded as ink, and every word written with a brush requires the support of ink. When the ink runs out, if you still want to write, you need to use Lin Chaozi's life to grind and forcefully grind out the remaining bit of ink. These are the rules developed by Lin Chaozi. The meaning is similar, but using the metaphor of ink is easier to understand. Perhaps the real rules are more complex. 
but the basic operation Lin Chaozi has figured it out. Moreover, there is also a wild and unowned 100,000 year soul ring here. Zhuge Liang captured Meng Hua seven times, and Lin Chaozi dared not compare himself with this ancient and modern prime minister. However, he gave Xiao Wu a choice, and he believed he could still do it. As for whether Xiao Wu listens or not, that's not his business. If he doesn't listen, he'll stay and use it as a 100,000 year soul ring for him. After listening, he didn't miss this 100,000 year soul ring either. But at this moment, especially since Tang Hao has not yet left Holy Soul Village, Lin Chaozi believes that it is better to keep a low profile. But being low. Key doesn't mean bowing your head. After fulfilling his utmost benevolence and righteousness, Lin Chaozi stood up on his own and ignored Xiao Wu and Tang San. He walked towards the door with seven small dogs. I didn't say anything to do. I didn't answer Tang San's previous questioning. The little flesh on Xiao Wu's face was trembling. The pink little hand has been clenched into a small fist. Tang San strode forward and stopped Lin Chaozi, who had just walked to the door, directly in the dormitory. His two thick little eyebrows were twisted together. How did you get in? This is Soul Master Academy, and there should only be one quota in the village. So, I would like to ask, where did you get your admission quota from? Do you want to slip away when the situation is bad? It's a shame to have friends like you. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Revealing the Hypocrisy of Tang San You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Revealing the Hypocrisy of Tang San Do you know my name? Lin Chaozi stood in front of Tang San. A face full of scars was written with disdain. With just one simple sentence, Tang San was stopped. Behind Tang San and Lin Chaozi, Xiao Wu and the other children saw the communication between these two people, especially Tang San's hesitant response, which gradually came back to them. Tang San doesn't even know the other person's name. Since that's the case, how could someone dare to shamelessly claim that the other person is their friend, or even accuse them as friends? Are there any friends in the world who don't know their names? Even pen pals know each other's pen names. Since it's not a friend, how did I get in? Is it necessary to tell you? Lin Chaozi stood in front of Tang San. Raise your head and hold your chest high, exuding youthful energy. I didn't get angry, just asked coldly. Tang San's lips wriggled a few times. But compared to the previous question, this question is still within his ability to answer. Although his answer is somewhat unreasonable, following the rules and regulations, no one can pick out any flaws from the surface. So, after a brief silence, Tang San still came up with this excuse. There is only one enrollment quota for Holy Soul Village this year, and that is me. Since you have also arrived here, I suspect that it is reasonable for you to enter school under the guise of identity, isn't this too much? Of course. Surprise everyone's expectations. Lin Chaozi nodded happily. Even Tang San didn't expect Lin Chaozi to play this trick. But Lin Chaozi's counterattack is still behind. After nodding, the conversation changed. Everyone has the right to doubt anyone. But after suspicion, everyone's right is only to investigate and report, and any unauthorized interrogation or detention is an offline operation. You can choose these operations of crossing the line, but once you choose the operation of crossing the line, I will naturally adopt the same operation of crossing the line to deal with you. So. Now you can report it. Lin Chaozi patted Tang San's shoulder neither lightly nor heavily. Then, Tang San, who was in a daze, pushed open the door and left. As the door was not closed, Lin Chaozi's kind reminder drifted in. By the way, when reporting, don't forget to tell the teacher or dean that I'm not your friend. Otherwise, you might become a narrow dot minded person in their hearts. Moreover, it's the kind of betraying friends. Thousands of miles of horses are common, but bull is not common. I'm not even afraid, what are you afraid of? Seven little dogs crawled out through the crack in the door. 
Wang Sheng hesitated to speak and closed the door. He looked at Tang San, who remained silent, and then at Xiao Wu, who was clearly angry. He couldn't help but shrink his head. Unable to provoke he can't afford to provoke either of these two people the one who just left is even less likely to provoke it looks like a guy with a flat head who doesn't accept life and death, especially those scars on his face, which are obviously left by a fight. Coupled with those fierce and vicious little dogs, who is labeled as, not easy to provoke. Is this still a question? Anyway, Wang Xing doesn't think this is a problem. Since we can't afford it, what else can we do? Lie flat. The eldest, second, and third of the seven houses are in a fight, no matter who wins or loses, they don't have the authority to make critical comments like this group of little shrimp. Since that's the case, scattered, scattered. Let's all scatter now. Wang Sheng looked up in shock. Only then did I realize that Xiao Wu had snatched his words. Wang Sheng originally thought the same way, but Xiao Wu, the current leader of the Seven Houses, expressed Wang Sheng's thoughts one step ahead of time. Wang Sheng naturally enjoyed seeking purity. Command others with fingertips and gestures. Scattered, scattered, all scattered. Don't wander around Big Sister all day long. Big Sister, you've just arrived here and I'm not sure if you're familiar with the environment in the college. If you don't mind, my name is Wang Sheng and I'm willing to show you the way. By the way, let me introduce our seven houses status in the college. They are all in their sophomore year. Even the status in the martial arts world has been listed. It can only be said that wherever there are people, there are rivers and lakes. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Wu's eyes lit up. Lin Chaozi's threat was instantly forgotten, and she took off her pink small package and casually threw it onto a bed with good brightness. Then, she pushed open the door of Qixia, waved her hand casually, and left the door with Wang Sheng and a few younger brothers in a dignified manner. Let's go. Show me the way. Let's go to the cafeteria first. It's just time for dinner. Wang Sheng and a few children quickly followed up. Due to the large number of people, five or six people lined up horizontally. Even if they merged into two rows, Tang San, who was originally standing at the door, was knocked back two steps. The noise gradually drifted away. In the dormitory, the others are also doing different things. Some are flipping through books, while others are meditating in bed. Tang San suddenly felt a moment of loneliness, as if he was isolated. No one wanted to provoke him, nor did anyone want to talk to him. But soon, Tang San shook his head in his heart. It was that little blind man who deceived everyone. A thousand mile horse. Does he also deserve it? A person with innate soul power of only one level, a martial soul of an ordinary brush, blind eyes, and nothing to see, is not insulting all the horses in this world. Thinking of this, Tang San's mood suddenly became a little happier. Anyway, the other party's starting point is too low. If it weren't for the purpose of selecting suitable soul beasts, he could now go and obtain soul rings and become a true one ring soul master. Soul masters can only be called after reaching the first ring. A soul master who has not reached the first level should be called a soul master according to their realm division. Although it is also a part of the Soul Master sequence, becoming a Soul Master is really easy compared to being a true Soul Master. Having martial souls and soul power if you satisfy the above two points, you are a Soul Warrior. So, it's not an exaggeration to say that there are millions of Soul Warriors on the entire Doloa continent, even the old farmers who farm can be considered as Soul Warriors. Only by becoming a Soul Master can one become a human being. Only Soul Masters and the Martial Soul Hall will provide subsidies. Don't worry about the amount of money you give, don't waste the money you give. Thinking of this, Tang San is full of power. But even if he has enough power, it's useless. The first Soul Ring is of great significance to Soul Masters. 
many soul masters who can only exert their power in the later stages lag behind their peers because the soul skills brought by the first soul ring are too weak, gradually falling behind the times. Regarding this, Yu Xiao Jiang and Tang San have mentioned it. So, Tang San is both anxious and not anxious now. Because this matter is urgent and useless. Furthermore, Tang San is also a proud person. He has his own dignity and temper, and it is impossible for him to touch his cold buttocks with a hot face, so even if he saw the indifferent attitude of others in the dormitory towards him, he did not force himself to approach him. With a proud turn of his head, he also pushed the door open and left. The dormitory instantly quieted down. After a moment, someone spat and said, Don't play with this person from now on. Growing up in a village, you don't even know their name, and even use their eyes to call them little blind. Such a person has bad character. That's right. That makes sense. I agree. Me too. A group of children chimed in with each other. But there are inevitably a few who are particularly speechless. In one sentence, everyone was silenced. I also agree, but I still have to say one thing. Whoever spits phlegm, who rubs. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 No one stipulates that blind people must lose their sense of direction you're listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 8 no one stipulates that blind people must lose their sense of direction nodding Junior Soul Master Academy. Canteen. First layer. Seven little dogs were wolfing down the bones. Eat slowly, don't choke. Lin Chaozi slowly tore the flesh off the bone. Looking at these seven pairs of eyes, a spoiled smile appeared on his scarred face. Although he couldn't see what these seven pairs of eyes looked like or what color their hair was, he felt that the few little dogs were still relaxed and relaxed as he had already mastered the Imperial Land Divine Arts. Unfortunately, the tree wants to be quiet but the wind doesn't stop. Lin Chaozi pulled open the chair beside him. I don't know why you came to me. If there's nothing else, please let me finish this meal. Seeing the chair being pulled open, Xiaowu, who thought her footsteps were light and light, couldn't help but be taken aback for a moment. However, looking at Lin Chaozi's muddy and pure white eyes, Xiao Wu still felt that she was overthinking. Perhaps it's because we can't see that our ears work better, right? Xiao Wu thought silently. Then, he sat down on the chair with a carefree expression. I didn't say goodbye to Lin Chao at all. You can eat slowly, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just curious about what you meant by what you said to me before. I've been thinking for a while but haven't figured it out yet. I happened to see you in the cafeteria, so I wanted to ask you, can you speak more clearly? Xiao Wu's face was tinged with a hint of guilt. Fortunately, Lin Chao's words cannot be ignored. But Lin Chaozi doesn't need to be seen either. It seemed like he heard a joke. Lin Chaozi stopped his chopsticks, swallowed the food in his mouth, and immediately sneered, your words are already very clear. As a transformed soul beast, if you don't even have this understanding ability, don't think about wandering in the human world. Several veins immediately protruded from Xiaowu's hand. Her pink eyes were filled with disbelief and fear. Previously, Xiaowu was more skeptical. She believes that Lin Chaozi is deceiving her. She didn't expect to be exposed by a soul warrior on her first outing, and the other person didn't even need an analysis. They just slapped the answer on her face, almost telling her the steps to solve the problem. Is the human world so illogical? Can only the agreed title Dolua see through the true body of the transformed soul beast? Scammer. Humans are all a group of big scammers. The little dance murmured in secret. But at the moment, there seems to be nothing else to do. If I really want to kill her, I can kill her no matter what. After all, she is now in the human world, and if she reports it, neither the Martial Soul Hall nor the two empires will let go of her 100,000-year soul ring, especially her 100,000-year soul ring, which does not even have the ability to commit suicide. Even if she sacrifices, she cannot find a target. 
if you don't want to kill her, it's useless for her to be afraid. Moreover, being able to expose this matter in front of her is a manifestation of not wanting to kill her. I really want to take action, where is there any nonsense? Xiao Wu's logic is peculiar. But some things were indeed guessed right by her. Therefore, after understanding these principles, Xiao Wu felt an indescribable emotion when she looked at the bad guy next to her. A bit touched but not much. A bit scared, but not much either. So, Xiao Wu boldly rebuked Lin Chaozi's elbow and looked at Lin Chaozi's expressionless expression before laughing. Hey! Can I ask you a question? What's your name? Lin Chaozi lifted his white eyes, and now he doesn't even need to move his eyes because he looks at everyone with a pair of white eyes. Do you have to answer when you ask me? At least you can talk to me. Xiao Wu clapped her hands with a smile and said, if you really covet my 100,000 year soul ring, you won't be thousands of miles away from me like you are now. Either you threaten me, or you confuse me. In any case, you won't make this matter so clear in front of me. Lin Chaozi shook his hand with chopsticks. But Xiao Wu's preparation of the strong materials is still behind. At first glance, you're the kind of person with a cold face and a hot heart. In your human words. Is it called, knife mouth tofu heart dot? Anyway, you didn't harm my heart. Since that's the case, what else am I afraid of? Xiao Wu had a, admitted, expression on her face, and even if Lin Chaozi couldn't see it, she could feel the, solid hammer, feeling from Xiao Wu's words just now. Lin Chaozi. Unable to withstand the pressure, Lin Chaozi said perfunctorily. But in order to ensure the accuracy of his name and prevent the bizarre incident of Tang San and Xiao Wu registering as three dance groups in the Big Do Soul field, Lin Chaozi patiently explained after introducing his name. The forest is the one in the forest. That's my surname, there's nothing to say. Chaozi is the one that left the White Emperor's city early. Lin Chaozi believed that his explanation was very accurate. But he forgot that there was no poem about the early release of the White Emperor City in this world. So, although Lin Chaozi said it very seriously, Little Dance, who had written the poem White Emperor City early, still blinked her big eyes innocently. Ask, it seems like you have no culture. Don't ask, I don't know which Chaozi it is. The characters in this world are exactly the same as those in the world before Lin Chaozi passed through. Therefore, some homophones, even homophones, are still an unavoidable problem. After some thought, Xiao Wu decided to respect Lin Chaozi, but in order not to expose her shallow knowledge, as an outsider, she still adopted a layman's approach and asked sincerely. This early morning white emperor city. Ah. Uh, which city is it for you humans? Lin Chaozi almost broke the chopsticks in his hand, and suddenly remembered that there was no White Emperor City in this world. A hint of sadness surged in his heart, which was hard to suppress. White Emperor City is a city that does not exist in this world. Even if it were to be born early, White Emperor City is not a city, but the name of a poem, just like the name of some poems. As he spoke, Lin Chaozi picked up his chopsticks and wrote on the table, dictating, in the midst of the colorful clouds of the White Emperor, a thousand miles of Jiangling will return in a day, the sound of apes on both sides cannot be stopped, and the light boat has already crossed ten thousand mountains. After finishing writing, Lin Chaozi put down his chopsticks. Pick up the plate, get up and walk towards the sink. Xiao Wu instinctively stood up and said, let me help you. Lin Chaozi hasn't gone too far yet. Upon hearing this sentence, I turned back expressionlessly. Thank you very much, but there's no need. No one stipulates that blind people must lose their sense of direction. If you really want to help me, just listen to my warning. The heavenly way has no lovers and emotions. Again and again, no more. Furthermore, in front of the parties involved, I remind you to be careful of Tang San. Even if you stay, don't get too close to Tang San. A eavesdropper doesn't have to hide either. I can't see, there's nothing to be afraid of. Xiao Wu. 
Tang San. What? Wang Sheng and others. Damn it. This person is going back and forth again. I was just saying that no one stipulates that a blind person must lose their sense of direction, but now I'm saying that he's blind and can't see anything. How do you know someone is eavesdropping if you can't see it? You can see it seems that it is indeed invisible eyes are not something that can be faked if the eyes look good and suddenly say they can't see, there may be a possibility that they are pretending, but the eyes that appear to have problems and can't see things seem reasonable. It's not normal to be able to see it. So, as Tang San watched Lin Chaozi walk straight towards the sink, he just rubbed his chin in confusion and then put aside this little contradiction, focusing his attention on Lin Chaozi's slander towards him just now. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Everyone's trajectories are very different you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 9 Everyone's trajectories are very different, interesting, interesting. Divine Realm In a magnificent palace The young and handsome man with white hair draped over his shoulders slowly put down the chess piece in his hand. Although his words were interesting, his tone and expression remained calm, as if he had not been moved by this interesting little matter. Sitting opposite him was a seductive young woman of the same young age, with a plump figure and dressed in black chiffon made of unknown materials. Her subtle charm added a touch of allure to her. Her hair was as beautiful as ink, and she was simply coiled into a bun. After hearing the man's self-talk, the seductive young woman also slowly put down the chess pieces, crushed and eaten the chess pieces that the man had just dropped, and then smiled lightly. You don't seem to be in a hurry. Did you find a new goal? Or do you want to break through the game I set? The man suddenly laughed. Shaking his head, he picked up another chess piece, and finally placed the piece in his hand in a position that could contain the chess piece that the young woman had just placed. I can eat it, but unfortunately I don't eat it. The seductive young woman frowned slightly. The lazy sitting posture was also a bit serious. At this moment, the man with white hair slowly spoke up. Rasha, your heart is too anxious. Just like this game of chess, if you don't play with me until the end, you will never know what kind of backhand I have prepared for you. You know, I won't break the game you set. As for whether I have found a new goal. Perhaps it is. But with this sudden sharpening stone, I feel like I'm going to wear down the new knife I've chosen. So, what I was just thinking was, should I take action and help this little guy on the basis of not violating the rules of the divine realm? The man muttered to himself. The Rakshasa god gave a cold smile and said, it seems like you're a bastard who dares to take action. If you dare to take action, your divine examiner will not fall to the current level, and even his own consciousness will be suppressed. It's ridiculous. Is that right? The white-haired man smiled slightly. Immediately, as if muttering to himself, he muttered meaningfully, without a high priest, how could there be a divine examiner who can pass the level? As soon as these words were spoken, the bright eyes of the Rakshasa god shrank. The hand that originally intended to hold the chess piece suddenly stopped. After a moment, the Rakshasa god suddenly withdrew his hand. A boring man. Speaking, the Rakshasa god brushed his sleeves and left. A faint voice drifted from outside the palace. Since you don't want to take action and don't want to sharpen the knife, let me fill in the heritage of the knife you have chosen. No problem. The man smiled and answered. Looking at the unfinished chess game in front of me, I didn't get angry. With a casual wave, the board, along with the unfinished pieces, turned into a ball of flying ash. In the magnificent palace, only a gentle sigh remained from him. The sharpening stone, the sharpening stone. If it can break the knives of the world, it will no longer be a sharpening stone, but a divine weapon that intimidates the world. A gentle sigh echoes slowly in the palace. And in the human realm. In the city of Nodding in the heavenly Doe Empire. At the Junior Soul Master Academy in Nodding City. Lin Chaozi was calmly listening to the class. 
Xiao Wu sat next to him, while Tang San sat on the other side. From there, there were Wang Sheng and several other members of the Seven Houses, as well as some children from other dormitories, whom Lin Chaozi didn't know. Xiao Wu still hasn't returned to the Star Dou Forest. After Xiao Wu stayed, Lin Chaozi also asked Xiao Wu. But Xiao Wu didn't explain the reason, and Lin Chaozi didn't ask again. A wild 100,000 year soul ring, although Lin Chaozi is not too few, he is not too many. Although it cannot be absorbed at present, no one can guarantee that it will not be absorbed in the future. Being prepared is always right. Lin Chaozi has no specific requirements for the age of the soul ring. To put it bluntly, with his brush and martial soul, he can already rival the gods of this world, and even ordinary gods cannot reach his ability limit. It's just increasing the lifespan of the soul ring. Simply put, it is a special type of energy. The gods can inject this energy into the soul rings of the examiners, transforming them into 100,000 year soul rings. Therefore, from a scientific perspective, the identity of the examiners is equivalent to a link. The gods can use this link to send documents to the examiners, and the examiners can take these documents to the next level. I don't know if those gods will be angry when they hear my rough and shallow understanding, and then find me and hammer my dog head. Lin Chaozi silently self-deprecated. The fountain pen between the fingers operates automatically without wind. Upon closer inspection, one can realize that it is not the pen rotating along the fingers, but rather the fingers coordinating with the pen's rotation to advance the corresponding posture. Wind. No. More importantly, it's Qi. It has been six months since the last conflict with Tang San. One day in the divine realm, one year has passed in the human realm, so during the small half day of playing chess between the Rakshasa god and the Shura god, the human realm is naturally equivalent to half a year having passed. In the first month, Tang San obtained the soul ring. The century-old soul ring has made Tang San shine brightly. At the same time, Xiao Wu secretly found a place to condense a soul ring in the first month, and the age card was tighter than Tang San, almost approaching Xiao Wu's personal physical endurance limit. The 100,000-year soul beast is quite strong in this aspect. Other soul masters are concerned about the age of their soul rings. If the age is too high, it is not easy to absorb them. If the age is too low, absorbing them is also a waste of one's own soul ring position. As for Lin Chaozi he has been working behind closed doors for half a year. Half a year later today, he was able to elevate his soul power to level 10, meeting the conditions for obtaining the first soul ring. Currently, he is worrying about choosing what type of soul beast to choose. It's not that he doesn't work hard. The problem is, his innate soul power is only one level. The characteristics of the path of soul master are as follows. The cultivation speed before the age of 10 is not too fast, and the cultivation speed is limited by physical conditions. Even serious cultivation will not have a significant improvement. However, serious cultivation can accelerate the development of the body. Most soul masters who are not tall actually do not practice seriously at this time, slowing down the cultivation speed during the later power and golden periods. The age range of 10 to 20 is the starting point for most soul masters. Soul masters who have undergone systematic training have already laid a solid foundation in this age group, which is physical fitness, and begin to enter the stage of overtaking on curves. For some geniuses in the soul master realm, increasing their soul power by one level per month is just the most basic requirement. It is said that there are geniuses in the martial soul hall who can increase their soul power by one level in five days, so this stage is called the power generation period. The age range of 20 to 35 is the golden age, and the upper limit of most soul masters' lives is determined by the golden age. If they can break through to the level of soul dolua during the golden age, it means they have the hope of becoming a tidal dolua in the future. If you break through the soul saint, there is hope of becoming a soul dolua in the future, if you break through the soul emperor, there is hope of becoming a soul saint in the future. And so on. Going forward, 
it will be water grinding kung fu. All current Doloa titles are in this stage. This is also the reason why Lin Chaozi needs to study while practicing. The description of some details in the original work is not accurate. To gain a deeper understanding of the world, one must study and listen carefully, consult materials after class, and work hard to practice in their free time. Only then can they personally verify these theories one day in the future. But, Tsangfeng has been hiding for half a year, and it's time to shine the sword. In his pure white eyes, there was no thought or thought, but the pen that had been rotating in Lin Chaozi's hand suddenly stopped, perfectly between his index finger and thumb. Hastily breaking through, unstable foundation. Jokes. Does Lin Chaozi need something like a foundation? It's like saying that when Emperor Yi looked back at his youth, he found that his foundation was unstable, which is equally ridiculous. The so dot called limit never exists. The so dot called perfection will never exist. Otherwise, there is no need to cultivate and break through. So, we are all seeking evolution, what foundation do we need? As long as the practitioner's foundation can support them to break through to the next level, in fact, they have fulfilled their responsibilities. As for what to do in the next realm come back and repair it later. After all, there has never been a perfect cultivation technique. End of this chapter Chapter 10 The Distinctive Journey of Humans and Beasts You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 The Distinctive Journey of Humans and Beasts Chao Si Chao Si Do you need me to come with you? Anyway, it's also winter vacation now. Coincidentally, why don't you come home with me and take a look? By the way, I can solve the problem with your soul ring. In the library, Xiaowushing, who had just finished explaining the knowledge recorded in the book to Lin Chaozi, collapsed on a chair with no attachment. However, upon hearing Lin Chaozi's farewell, she was instantly revived with blood, chattering incessantly. Lin Chaozi was listening with a headache. Quickly raise your hand and signal for Xiao Wu to pause for a moment. Then, with a blank expression, he closed his book and said, Are you sure I'll go home with you and see if I'm lucky enough to come back? What is the specific reason why I asked you to stay here? Don't you have any points in mind? There are some numbers, but not many. Xiao Wu secretly murmured a sentence. Lin Chaozi immediately raised his eyebrows and said, Did you still feel wronged by this? No, no, no. Xiao Wu waved her hand repeatedly and said, No, I'm not at all wronged. It's just that I think, with our relationship, you don't need to trust me. Lin Chaozi's face suddenly turned cold. Half angry, half cold, smiled. Then, calmly, he asked, Can you tell me, what is our relationship? Friend. Xiao Wu didn't even think about it and blurted it out. Although he couldn't see it, Lin Chaozi could still imagine Xiao Wu's surprised look at him, asking him a question of intellectual disability. He couldn't help but lift his forehead and let out a sigh. After stomping his feet and sensing the vibration waves, Lin Chaozi slowly got up and walked to the bookshelf with his book. While placing the book, he said. No. We're not friends. Not before, not even in the future. If you insist, you are my reserve grain. I have no grievances or grudges against you. In theory, I shouldn't have manipulated you, but my selfishness is very heavy. The reason why you are still unharmed now is largely due to the premise that I don't need your life. So, it's best for you to be calm. It doesn't matter where you go during this winter vacation. But if I don't see you after the winter vacation, it's best to expect me to die young before I'm promoted to Doluo. Otherwise, you won't want to know what kind of revenge I have against you. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Wu's eyes immediately became anxious. Coincidentally, there is no one in the library at this moment. Xiao Wu didn't even think about it, so she rushed forward and grabbed Lin Chaozi's collar. Then, with her back hand, she pressed Lin Chaozi against the wall corner. How on earth can you let me go? Okay, even if you have a sharp tongue and a sharp heart, 
but in the past six months, every time you go to the library to read a book, has there been any time I haven't been with you? Has there ever been a time when my attitude became impatient? If it weren't for me studying for you, you wouldn't even be able to see what's written on these books. I'm not asking for credit, I'm just saying, from any perspective, even if I don't, I shouldn't have missed it, right? Even if it's a stone, it should be covered in heat, right? Why do they always threaten me? Moreover, you can't beat me. What are you really proud of? Faced with Xiaowu's hysterical questioning, Lin Chaozi calmly raised his hand and grasped Xiaowu's grip on his collar. He then forcefully broke it and pushed Xiaowu to the side, causing her to stumble. Ignorance is not original sin, pride and arrogance are. Patting the collar, Lin Chaozi lifted his cloudy and pure white eyes to look at Xiao Wu. Even if he couldn't see, he could still hear Xiao Wu's heavy breathing clearly. Lin Chaozi did not get angry, but instead laughed. After a silent smile, a puzzled expression appeared on his face, which still had a hint of residual laughter. He couldn't help but ask back. Why do you think I can't beat you? Is it because of the difference in soul power levels? You're at level 14, I'm at level 10. Xiao Wu sniffed and said, that's right. From this, it can be seen that you are not pretending. Lin Chaozi sighed in distress. Xiao Wu didn't understand what she meant yet. What wasn't faked? The meaning is, you're really stupid. Lin Chao added a knife with an expressionless expression. After saying these words, it seemed that Xiao Wu had already anticipated her reaction. She raised her hand to signal a pause, and then asked in reverse, You have read me many books, so I would like you to carefully recall which book states that soul power level is the standard for determining soul master's combat power. But your martial soul is a brush. Xiao Wu reminded with an unconvinced tone. But in this world, there are also self-created soul skills. Speaking, Lin Chaozi raised his hand, and countless small air currents converged above his palm. A blurry air mass appeared in Xiao Wu's surprised gaze. Then, he was squeezed apart by Lin Chaozi's backhand. So, you're really stupid. After a brief presentation, Lin Chaozi once again made precise cuts. Later, Xiao Wu was given a fierce knife repair. Love is love, race is race. At first, I gave you two opportunities, one was a subtle reminder and the other was an obvious reminder, but after both reminders, if you choose to stay, then naturally I have to consider for myself. In terms of your love for studying, I have never targeted you in the past six months. You can go out and play, you can do whatever you want, except for not being able to run away. I have given you the greatest freedom. But what I should guard against you, I will still guard against you. You are a beast, I am a human. So, we can never become friends. Our relationship is also a clear account. I don't owe you, and you don't owe me either. I have to pay for my own choice, and you also have to pay for your choice. Within a reasonable range of circumstances, I use my means to limit your use of you, but it does not mean that my heart is cold and heartless. It can only be said that my means are more clever than your resistance. That's all. After speaking, Lin Chaozi shook his windbreaker and turned around to leave. Xiao Wu trembled with anger. Pointing at Lin Chaozi's back, he remained silent for half a day. Until her figure disappeared, Xiao Wu crouched down and began to sob softly. And this scene happened to be witnessed by Tang San, who had just arrived at the scene. Recalling what he had seen in his dream, Tang San felt an unforgettable sense of reality. He immediately felt heartbroken and strode forward, reaching out to hold on to Xiao Wu's shoulder and angrily saying, Did Lin Chaozi bully you? Wait, I'll avenge you. If he doesn't come to apologize to you today, I'll write the Tang character, Tang San upside down. Tang San was furious beyond control. But he never expected that Xiao Wu would suddenly pull away his hand, wipe away the tears on Xiao Wu's face, and then stare at him with a pair of red eyes, giving him a cold look. Then, word by word, she threatened, 
if you dare to trouble him, then I dare to trouble you. After speaking, Xiao Wu turned around and left the library. In the library, in an instant, only Tang Sanyi remained. Lin Chaozi, you bastard. Give me back Xiao Wu. That's my little dance. Dog thing, dog thing, dog thing. Not long after, a mournful cry rang out in the library. The voice is not loud, but it hurts deeply in the heart. But soon, the library quieted down, with only a dull sound of punches hitting the wall, as if telling the pain in the boxer's heart. End of this chapter